Welcome back guys, Jimmy Jules 153 here with another episode of Short Circuits. In this episode we'll be going over how to make collectible keys that you can use to unlock doors. We've got our key that we've found in the Dreamiverse here, and we're just going to start out by putting a microchip on it. Now first of all I just want to make this spin around in the air before we collect it just to give it a nice effect. Let's find a rotator here. And we'll pivot that up so it rotates on the Y axis. And we should be able to hit play here and see that rotating. Awesome, that'll do for that. Now, for detecting the player, we're going to use a trigger zone. So we'll grab out one of those. And this will be fine on the default setting with just detecting the possessed controller sensors. And when that happens, we want to get a variable modifier. And we're going to set up a bit of a world chip here too. So I'm going to grab out another microchip and we're going to just place this in the world. Just for some global chips. And for this one we're going to grab out a variable. And we're going to call this keys. Just like that. Now, when the trigger zone detects the player, we're going to want to update this key variable. So we'll change this to keys. And the trigger zone is going to power that variable modifier on. And it's going to add a value of 1. Let's change this to 1. To our keys variable. When the player collects the key, we also want the key to disappear. So we'll grab a destroyer and plug the trigger zone into that as well. That's basically all of the logic that we need on our key here. So I'm going to grab out a puppet. I'll plunk that down here. I'll just make sure the trigger zone is in about the right spot. I'll make it a little bit bigger. That'll do. Now we're just going to pin our global microchip to our screen so we can see this variable all the time. And we'll jump into test mode and we'll go and collect the key. You can see as soon as we collect that key the variable updates to a number one. So with that we can duplicate our key now. like that. And we can use this variable oh, over here. We can use this to determine whether or not the door opens. So we'll grab out our calculator and we'll set it to greater than and we'll plug our current value of our value of our variable into the calculator. And we'll say if this is greater than 2 point something, 2.8, so if it's greater than 2.8 or 3, we'll want to open this yellow door. So we'll grab out a keyframe. And we'll scope in here and just pull this door open. That's all we need to do for that. And I'm going to plug the calculator into this keyframe. So whenever the player has collected more than 2.8 keys, or 3 in this case, the keyframe will power on. I'm just going to make that happen over one and a half seconds. So if we jump back into test mode again, and collect these three keys, we should see that the door opens. And we can now enter the house. 
can also do this with multiple key types as well. So if we had a different key, for example, a blue key, if we duplicate this yellow one here, jump into the tweak menu and turn the tint up a bit and make it blue. We'll change this variable modifier. We're going to want a new variable as well. So we're going to want a blue key. blue keys variable and this variable modifier is going to update that blue keys variable that's all we need to do for that so now we put this blue key in the yellow house they won't be able to collect that blue key until they've collected enough yellow keys to open the yellow door we can do the same thing with this variable here grab out a calculator and set it to greater than grab the current value and we'll grab another keyframe we'll open this blue door over here and then we'll just make this fade in and out over one and a half seconds just like the other one And we'll jump into play mode. You can see the door starts out closed. When we connect, collect enough yellow keys, we can get into the blue house, uh, into the yellow house, sorry. And collect that blue key. Once we've collected the blue key, the blue door opens. And that's all there is to it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.